the details. Here's a hint. There won't be just one tree this oh. year, but three trees. You're right, Zoe and Mike. Three trees mean three separate lightings spread out over downtown to keep the crowd smaller and COVID safe. We followed the first evergreen as it began its journey to the heart of the forest city. It's not an easy process either, but it is quite the process. Choosing this 38-foot beast of a tree took weeks for stroll on stake organizers. The search started in August and the number of candidates grew to 25, including this one rooted near Springbrook and Mulford Roads. The tree came from a great family up in Spring Lake Estates and they are super excited to see their tree. The tree stirs memories for its owner, Phil Garino. He planted it in 1955 for his parents' 50th anniversary. Like we said, it was our 50th anniversary in August. And, uh, you know, it's a nice tradition to keep on going, keep on watching it grow every year. And to be a candidate for this city's holiday celebration, trees must meet certain criteria. 40 to 50 feet tall and preferably a Bruce spruce, which can usually handle the weight of the ornaments and lights. Where it's located, it, that there's no power lines involved um, with getting it out of where it needs to come out of. Crews cut down the Garino's tree early Tuesday morning and hauled it to Davis Park. After a few edits to the branches, it moved into its new home, ready to spread the holiday spirit one limb at a time. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, there will probably be another tree planted in this place. The owners of the 38-foot monstrosity say it may not be as tall as other trees from past years, but they say it's definitely the widest one they've ever seen. Exciting times. I'm excited now. Mm -hmm. Well, this tree was picked out of 25 others hoping to win centerpiece status at Stroll State. The tree decoration will take place Friday, November 19th, also Saturday, November 20th.